Remember the Supreme Court fight over the Defense of Marriage Act back in 2013? The court has just ruled part of that law is unconstitutional. This is being described immediately now as a big win for advocates of gay rights and a big win for supporters of same-sex marriage. That's when the nation's highest court ruled the federal government has to recognize same-sex marriages. Now, gay marriage is back at the court, and this time, it deals with if states have to recognize their legality. The case is Obergefell versus Hodges, and it asks if same-sex couples have a constitutional right to marry. It's actually a collection of cases, and it gets its title name from one of the plaintiffs, Jim Obergefell. He's from Ohio, a state that doesn't allow same-sex marriage. He and his partner, John, flew to Maryland to get married legally, as John was dying of ALS. A few months later, Obergefell sued to have his name listed as the surviving spouse on John's death certificate. At the court, the case all hinges on the 14th Amendment, which deals with equal protection and due process. First, it asked if the 14th Amendment requires states to license same-sex marriages. And second, if states are required to recognize gay marriages performed out of state. Right now, same-sex marriage is legal in about three-quarters of the states. But if the couples win, it could be legal across the country.